Joining me here at Gate Say Hereford manager Josh Cowling. You must be uh, proud of your players' efforts to a degree today. <laughs> yeah, um, I thought we brought Andreas in and he was excellent first half. But again, it was one of them games you got a second half and then all of a sudden you start. I know they scored, but then we kind of last 15 or so, I thought we really got a grip of the game, didn't we? So, But look, at the end of the day, they're a fantastic side. They deserve to go up this season. I thought they'd, they'd been the best side by a country mile and they were a good side. So, um, yeah, I mean, congratulations to them. Obviously, we did a guard of honour for them. I did it, but I didn't like doing it <laughs> because obviously, you know, that's where I want to be. You know, that's what that's what we want to do. But no, congratulations to them. And you look at Macaulay Langstaff up front. I mean, he looks a cut above this level. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're in a good area, aren't they? You know, they've got Newcastle, Middlesbrough, Sunderland, all in that area. So they've got a really good catchment area for players. And you know, I know Mike, the manager, he's, he's, he's excellent. He's a young manager like myself, and he's instilled a belief and, and, and you know and, and an identity with them, and, and, and they've been excellent. And like I said, they've been by far the best team this season. And they've been given the trophy in the background. You might be able to hear the crowd. We're outside the ground actually to try and to try and interview you. But they've been a credit to the division. Yeah, but I'm, I don't like parties normally, and I don't like parties even more now. So yeah, they've been a credit to the division. You know, you want you want a team like that to go up because it represents this league, and and, and they'll go up to the league above. And I'm, I'm sure they'll be they'll, they'll be good in the league above. They'll they'll hold their own. So and I, and I can't see them coming back down anytime soon. Some some of the players out there today, contracts are up. Um, business starts now for you in the next few weeks to get things nailed down? Yeah, um, we, we, we've spoke to a few lads, uh, we spoke to a, a few targets as well and yeah, I think it's time to, to reflect as well now um, on what's the next step for, for the team and, and obviously ourselves and, and, and decide which where, where we're going. So yeah, we, we've had our targets, obviously like I said, we, we've had our targets for a while and um, we spoke to them but like anything, the players have got to go on and so sometimes those lads want to wait you know, before they make a decision, so we'll see. Very, very close. So obviously you've ended up mid-table in the division when you were looking for that seventh spot at, at one stage. And what do you put it down to, tailing off towards the end of the season? Look, the last 15 games, you know, we've lost our form. Um, if you look at when we've lost our form, we all know why. Um, I, I think any team in the, in the world that loses their front three, that's what happens. And, and at our level, you then don't have the squad or the resources to then go and get another three players to match the ones you've lost and obviously we had Miles and his hammy, Maz has gone to York, Janai has gone to, to, to Brackley and that's, that's your front three done and at this level it's then very hard to replace and we've found it difficult from then really. Um, I, I do believe if we had that squad together from now to the end of the season I think we'd be sitting comfortably in the playoffs. Could you not have had those players under contract? It's happened isn't it, it's done. So there's nothing... Is that a, 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 you know, a learning curve for the club? <laughs> Look, it is what it is. Um, but is it a learning curve for the cup to get players on contract and not rely on non-contract players? You know, I've, I've spoke about it a little bit, um, about the simple fact is there's, there's certain clubs that can want to take the risk um, of putting all the players on contracts, and then there's other clubs that don't. We're one of those that don't want to take that risk um, because obviously the finances of the football club are what they are, and, 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 and the club don't want to take those risks. So. Look, at the end of the day, it's my job as a manager to put a team out there and you know get the players that we, we get in and develop them and, and kick us on. And you know we've improved year on year, haven't we? You know, again we finished 11th, are we now? So 11th or 12th, where we are, and, and it's improvement on last year. You know, since we've been in the club, we've got to Wembley, obviously pushing playoffs to the last couple of games of the season. So it's a big achievement for you know where we are as a football club. But I want more. I want success. You know that hurts me today. Uh, doing a guard of honour for a team winning the league, it hurts me a lot because that's what I want. I want to win things and I want to be challenging for things. So, again, it's time for me to reflect on things uh, moving forward and then, you know, we'll, we'll see what goes on in the summer. What do you feel the supporters could do over the summer? How can they help you? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, John spoke about it, um, you know, about obviously boost the budget and, and the season tickets. I think that helps. Um, look, we're, we're a supporters club, aren't we? And that's the reality of it. We don't have people that are just going to a chairman that's just going to write a check and, and put money in. So, yeah, we, we have to put money into boost the budget, buy season tickets, and then, you know, we'll, we'll look at it from there. And from your perspective, you, you might want to make some leading signings early to, to set those season ticket sales going. Who's signing anyone at the moment? 
Everyone keeps telling me about signings and retain lists and all that stuff, but who's signing anyone? No one is. So the, the league's still going on, the playoffs are still going on. So yes, we're having conversations with people, but like I said, the reality is, the players I want at the football club are going to take to the next level. They're going to wait. Because you, you don't want, surely, want to be in a position you were last pre-season with not having anywhere near a squad in those pre-season friendlies. No, of course I don't. I don't, want to be, I don't want to rebuild a squad every year. That's where we are. So, you know, the reality is, you know, I, I want, like I said before, I want to keep the majority of the players together. We're not going to be able to do that. We'll, we'll keep a core of them, of course. But then, if we want to strengthen, we've then got to look at our targets, look at the money they want in comparison to the, lads, the money our lads want, which means that takes time. So, yeah, I want to come back in pre season with a good, you know, 15 players. And then, obviously, we can then kind of keep a couple of spots available and then bring them in. But, like I said, we're going to lean on some of the youth team lads. We've got, obviously, they've won today, which is pleasing. So now, obviously, on, on the way up, I know they won on penalties, so it's really pleasing. And we've got a good group of youth team lads, so we'll lean on them and we'll bring some of those into the squad next year. And then we'll probably have a smaller squad and, and we'll see what, what transfers come available.